Hello, welcome to episode 14 of my blind let's play of Shadow of the Erd Tree. I'm here in the Rivermouth Cave that I just got to. And uh, how many souls do I need to level up? I would need another... Fifteen thousand nine hundred and ninety. Basically sixteen thousand. No, twelve thousand nine hundred and ninety. Basically thirteen thousand. Should have enough for that. Yeah, I'll just use this. And the one broken one. I should be able to level up and have 10 runes left. <laughs> so... Yeah, let's go for stamina level 40, and then I'll, I'll work on Vigor and get that up to level 50 after that. Cool, cool. Um, boom. Yeah, excited for another cave. So I've done a forge. A jail there was a mausoleum that was just a straight up boss fight uh i'm in one of the major dungeons which is the the Bellarat tower settlement and then i also did a fort as well now we're just in a cave so there's been a lot of n you know new types of dungeons and there's a couple old ones as well such as a cave hey doggy good doggy nice doggy Good doggy. Huh? One uncharged R2 did the trick. Oh man, what's with those glowing eyes, doggy? You possessed? Or are you a possessed doggy? I'd leave you alone. I know I'm kind of invading your fucking den here and it's your instinct to defend yourself, but I mean if you would have left me alone, I would have left you alone. <sighs> Sorry, doggy friends. Oh. I was going to say, is this going to lead me into like a floor that drops away? But no, it's going to lead me into a bunch of fucking wolves. sliver of meat. God, I feel bad for them. They're literally there just guarding their little sliver of meat. And I just go in and fucking kill them. Oh, am I the baddie? Am I the baddie now? Oh, God help us all. God help us all. Find our way back to innocence. try this. Uh, it only goes so far. Oh, boy. They might die pretty quick, but they don't, uh... They don't have dull teeth. They fucking fuck me up pretty quickly, too. So, uh... Yeah, I might switch away from this flying stab thing. I mean, it's probably got its uses, but I think I'm happier with, uh... With the lion flip thing. I mean, I guess it would be alright if I could memorize the distance. I just need to get a little bit closer to that guy. But I feel like the lion flip is better because you can do it twice in a row. Savage lion claw or whatever it's called. I think there was like an original version of that in the original game called lion... Might have just been called lion claw. Okay, yeah, let's uh, let's switch off. Uh, oh, brain fart. What the fuck am I doing? Oh yeah, savage lion's claw, heavy. Boom. What are the other ones I have? Shriek of sorrow and wild strikes. Yeah, wild strikes I'll keep just since I've had it since the beginning of the game, and it's just so fucking good. 
Help me defeat a bunch of fucking bosses. Help me defeat Moog, that's for sure. Is this place gonna have a giant wolf boss or something? Oh, oh god. Oh man, got the guy aimed that final hit. Well. I let my health recover. Automatically, I'll leave those ones alone. Uh, and I'll be a little more careful here. So there's at least three in here. Whoops. Oh, sweet. I've got the high ground, Anakin. That went as well as it could have. Okay, we got a cave path up there. Nothing over here, eh? cool if I could use that well let me see oh man Ima oh shit imagine you could actually like do sequence breaking via some of these uh, ashes of war that's fucking badass that's a big ass jump man you could 100% sequence break there like using that uh, yeah I'm pretty sure I'm definitely gonna get attacked when I walk forward in here Come on. Ah! Son of a bitch. So now I still need to check that other fucking path. Uh, so either I get back up there eventually or I need to redo the dungeon once I finish it. Well, uh, that's a lot of blood. Oh, I swore that would be a fake wall. Fuck, man. <laughs> that fucking scared me, eh? The ground broke away. Sanguine Amaryllis. Yeah. Something rather bloody down here, isn't it? Ah, yes, precious. What is that? So, oh, so, oh my god, there are a lot of them. What the fuck? Oh, is it those ogres? I think so. One on one, they're fine. That's a bunch of blood ogres. Okay, th okay, this might be the way back up to that that path that was above that one room. I love the charge, how you can release it whenever you want. It's not just like uncharged or full charge. You can be charging it and then like release it so you can kind of like it's kind of like a smash attack in super smash bros if you know someone's probably going to start running at you you can just start charging and then release it at the right time super smash brothers melee whoa one of the best uh gaming voiceovers ever in my opinion I don't want to like yell it super fucking loud. Sometimes I do. But, uh. Yeah, I don't want to disturb the birds outside too much with my fucking yeah, loud yelling. I already did so much screaming the last several days playing the bosses in this game. Gotta quit that shit. Not disturb the fucking birds outside covering their nests. I'm sure that stresses them out. Oh, 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 I thought there was, uh, oh, okay, that was just the way out. I thought there was a hole, like another path I could take. All right. Super Smash Brothers Melee! Bum -ba -da -da -da. Oh, boss. 
Hopefully nothing bad happens just from walking in that blood. Oh boy. I mean, this should be kind of fun fighting all these guys at once, but also extremely dangerous. Yeah. Come on, bud. Oh, I got greedy and went for the full charge. That's okay. I mean, this is not bad if I can fight him one on one. It's actually totally fine. Thought that fucking floor would break too. Oh boy. Whoa. Blood spell. Yeah, let's use the terrain to our advantage. Not go down the dead end, that's for sure. I mean, this could still all go wrong. Can they get up that? Hey, heal. Or are they stuck? <laughs> hey, no. Turn around, motherfuckers. Damn it! What a fucking pile of crap, man! God, it's so stupid that that guy can hit you from so fucking far away with the fucking spell. Like, what the fuck, man? I just gotta redo this all fucking over again. Whatever. Fucking crap! Like, how fucking much... How does it do that much fucking damage? It's a fucking wolf! I have armor on, man! What the fuck? All right, <sighs> let's go again. Fucking all these fucking stupid ogres. Okay, 
right, fuck that thing. Uh, oops. Uh, I don't know what I should. Fu oh, raise attack power after defeating an enemy. That's going to help a lot. Cool. If I can defeat them in less hits, that will greatly reduce my danger. Still took four hits. Three hits for that one, that's helpful. Oh, because I have the attack bonus, that's right. Damn it. What the fuck? Oh, I should have gone and got my fucking runes. What a fucking pile of shit, man. Jesus fucking Christ, the guy can all of a sudden just fucking poise through. I I, I don't know if I've ever fucking... I, I don't remember ever hitting one of those guys and not fucking stunning it. I'm sure it happened, whatever. Fuck you. Jesus fucking Christ, man. What a fucking stupid room. Like... It's a fucking crap load of fucking enemies. At least I have the attack bonus now. Whatever, let's just run straight for this one. There's not a path halfway up, is there? No, I think that was just a bit of dumb luck that I actually landed on a outcropping of, on the side of that wall. <laughs> yeah, my extra attack bonus does not last for long, eh? But, if I chain a bunch of these enemies in a row, it should kind of go well. can't remember what I can get for, like, drops from these guys. Yeah, so as long as I keep the chain going, I can three-shot them. Yeah, I don't want them to chase me too far back. I mean, it is convenient that... Can I backstab them? Oh, whatever. It is convenient that they can't, like, make it past a certain point in that little tunnel. Uh, really what I want is to not aggro the magician or to kill him right away. Let's just try this. Oh crap, I thought I could do it without waking up that other fucking pile of crap. Are they all awake now? I don't know. Yeah, if there's no spell getting cast on me... Oh shit, that's a lot of them.
hate all the fucking dust and bullshit that gets kicked up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my god. Everything's worse once the fucking magic guy is awake. Slow and steady. Ha! They're stuck. Is the magic guy back over there or something? Oh my god, what the fuck? Crap. Just two of them. Jeez. Fuck, man. I didn't need to aggro these guys, but I just want to kind of clear my path. Just in case I, like, randomly, like, get chased back here somehow. Fuck you, man. Fucking pile of shit. Probably won't even get anything from killing all these guys and I'll just... ...waste all my fucking healing items. Whatever. At least one stuck around string. Okay. It'd be nice if they were kind of wandering dispersed. Oh, they all went back. Wow. Ah, uh, I'd like to go get the magic guy. Fuck, this is annoying. Can I go get the magic guy now? Sacred bloody flesh. The hell is that good for? reach man whatever I'm not killing these fucking idiots what a stupid fucking room oh I have a good idea let's just put 20 guys in one room with no way to fucking separate them or deal with them individually <laughs> give them fucking 10 times as long a fucking range as you got and make them take four hits to kill and then give one of them fucking range magic as well Fucking piece of shit. Sacred blood flesh. Like, what the hell is the point of that fucking item? Like, unless it's a talisman. <sighs> Alright, I'm turning the fucking... Air conditioning on. As many things as this game does right, it does a fucking equal amount wrong. It's just so stupid, man. It's fucking insulting. 
Boosts physical attack power and arcane once. Attack power boosted further when blood loss occurs. Hey, whatever. So, yeah, obviously this is like a wolf den cave, and then you go further into it, and fucking these blood-worshipping ogres have made their home here. Fuck you. Oh my god, can I even run past these guys? Yes. All right. String. Great. Oh, man. The temptation. Ho <laughs> ho wow. There were more items in this room, though, weren't there? Oh, I can't run past them now, though. It was probably just stupid stuff on the ground. Oh my god, you can attack me with magic through there? Can't fucking see shit because the room's so fucking tiny. It's so fucking stupid that such fucking enormous enemies with such powerful hits can just fucking combo you to death. Oh, I have a Steak of America. No fucking way. Thank fucking God they gave me that. That's uh, that's that's a a feather in their cap, to be honest with you. I figured for sure they would make me do the whole fucking run back. All right, I might r run backwards into the room and just see what pickups there were. You know, along the edges of the blood pool, there was one or two. Ah, Steak of America. Yeah, just more sanguine amaryllis. And these fucking enemies are kind of brainless. Well, let's figure out what's a good fucking strategy for this fucking guy, aside from just... Oh, fighting him all over and over and figuring out all of his fucking... combos. That's a big shockwave. There we go. Okay, it only takes three hits to, like a charge and then two jump attacks to do that to him, so that's really good. Oh, he's got fucking blood flame magic. And he can spit. Dude, what is with that fucking camera? No way. Just two if you do it fast enough. Wow. Okay. Alright. Wow. Please don't let those enemies chase me in here. Blood Fiend Hexer's Ashes. Okay, so I can summon one of those magicians now if I want to. Any other chests in this room?
I never read this one. Oh no, I did. Spirit conducts blood boon rituals with a sacred spear, casts blood flame hexes, and takes a singular pleasure in letting letting the blood of foes. Long ago, a subjugated tribe discovered a, discovered a twisted deity among the ravages of war, and they were transformed into blood fiends. The mother of truth was their savior. Yeah, so it's the formless mother that fucking uh, Moog worships. Interesting. Okay, cool. That is another path overcome. I can't believe I haven't found that one more Skagitry blessing I need in order to uh, get my next upgrade. Skadoodoo tree. The tree of Skadoodoo. Episode 14. How are you all liking this DLC? How does it measure up for you? It'd be cool to hear from people that Elden Ring is their first uh, From Software game. See what they thought of Elden Ring and what they think of this DLC. Okay, so now I'm going to go back here and then I'm going to travel up here. That's the next thing I'm going to do. Who knows what I will find. Certainly, it looks like I'll be able to get one more of Mikola's Crosses, which is cool. Uh, excuse me. How many runes did I get from beating that guy? Wonder if I can level up again. Oh, I absolutely can level up again. Wonder if I can level up twice. I would need like 210,000. Probably not quite. Hey. Hey. Okay, boom. More health. Yeah, maybe at one point between episodes I'll go grab a couple more Sacred Tears. I think I have most of them. How many can you get? I can't remember. Alright. Let's head east and then upward. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's a pretty good bonus to have. Whenever you kill somebody, you get a, a health or a attack boost for a little bit. That'll help me literally anytime I'm fighting a group of more than one enemy. Smithing four and five. All right. Onward and upward. To unravel the legend of the Skadoodoo tree. Okay, we got more little camps up here. That's cool. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. What? Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, I need some different, better DLC armor. I'm just wearing this because it's, it's the only fully new set of armor I've got. But it's not the strongest armor out there. Oh, I can't wait till I get my first, uh, like, remembrance. 
probably if I beat that dancing lion, I would get a remembrance from it. It'd be cool to see what you can get from that. Let's see if maybe you can buy some more boss armors. Get boss weapons, etc. Fuck me, man. That's just a basic fucking soldier. Just three axe swipes, dead. Son of a fucking gun. It's raining out today, which is sweet. I stood out in the rain for a minute. I'm watering my mom's plants while she's gone, so that uh, did most of the work for me. <laughs> it's always nice. Another one of those axes. Okay, it's a little brighter. That helps. Gotcha. Fuck, I must have a lot of smithing stones by now. I mean, Mesmer soldier stuff. Like, how good is that stuff? I would wear a full set of Mesmer Soldier stuff if I had it. It's not even as good as the stuff I've got, though. Yeah, whatever. I mean, this armor is cool. It's a little basic, but it is pretty cool. Not quite a one-shot. I mean, I guess I could just upgrade a Mesmer... Oh, fuck! Mesmer Soldier Axe. And use one of those for fun, but... It's so basic, and... Uh, I don't know. I guess they're kind of cool looking. Fuck, I don't know. Uh... Yeah, if I change... It basically is a strength weapon. Change it over to heavy. Let's see how long it is. Uh, it's like a one-handed axe. Let's see what the combos are. I feel like I still prefer the great sword right now. Get off, get off, get off. Ha, I only had to click L3 fucking 20 times. So that's pretty good. Friend. If you saw me, you would attack me. I know you would. Okay, so I can go down there and explore. Ah, Grave Glove Ward. Sure, let's let's check out down here. Down here. Huh. This looks like a one-way path. I mean, I might as well take it. Might as well see what's down here. Maybe I could jump back up with the horse. Maybe. Oh, well, not after this. Oh, maybe. Maybe still I could. Okay, so they do want you to go down this way. Oh. 
Is, what what is that? Is that that lake I was at before? Yeah, a hundred percent. Hundred percent it was. Yeah, there's that cross up there. Cool. I mean, this looks like just another way down to a place I've already been to potentially, but uh, could be something interesting on the way down. I can just warp back up and start the journey over again. Okay. What's the smoothest way down? Looks like... I don't know if that was it. Whatever. I'll explore over here before I aggro the bats. Yeah, there's those plants. There's more paths down, but let's go fight the bats now. Hopefully this goes well. Hopefully they don't drive me batty. Lock four is kind of a lot. Yikes. We got projectiles. Damn it, my next attack didn't go off. Come on, I'm hitting R R1. Alright. Yeah, alright. Where are the fake walls at? Where are all the fake walls at? Yeah, so this just looks like a different path down here, which is cool. I appreciate options. I do appreciate having options. But I will especially appreciate it if there's actually something interesting for me to grab on the way down before I get to the bottom. Make it feel like it was actually worthwhile doing this. Oh yeah, there's something. So, yeah, that's the path with those shadow demi-humans. All the poison crap. Alright, what do you got for me, buddy? Oh, that's 7,500 runes, I think. That's not bad. Better than nothing. She's a raining. Raindrops keep falling on my head. That doesn't mean my eyes won't soon be turning red. I don't know all the words to this song. Learn this song from The Simpsons. <laughs> One of my favorite episodes from season four. Duffless is the name of it. That's one of the best Simpsons episodes ever. Duffless, where uh, I can't even remember why, but Homer is forced to. Uh, oh, I can remember why. He goes on the Duff Brewery tour, skips work to go to the Duff Brewery tour, and then Barney. He doesn't drink, but Barney's super drunk. He had, he had like one sip or something. And then he blows on the bat on the breathalyzer. He has to quit drinking for a certain amount of time. And then everything in his life just gets, like, way better. And then, yeah, speaking of that addiction stuff I was talking about in the last episode, right when the 30 days are over, his addiction kicks back in right away, and he just wants to go right back to it. And he does go back to the bar, but then he sees how miserable it is, and he goes back home instead, and... Goes on a bicycle ride with Marge. Very wholesome. Well. Yeah, this is just just a way down here, really. Unless there's something over here. Nope. Oh. Alright, well, I was all for just a bunch of runes. That's okay, at least I know now. 
Start over. You know what? I could get another level, I believe. Five thousand more. Boom. Cool, 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 cool. Let's go. What in the fuck? How did I miss that guy? What the fuck is that crap, man? Hecaruni was that fucking crap. <laughs> oh, I must destroy all the servants of Mesma. Evil foes. guys think I should talk like this all the time? Put on a voice all the time so that people think I'm just always sounding perfect, like a lot of people do on YouTube. Hey, how's it going? This is Eric McLennan. This is episode 14 of my blind let's play of Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree. How are you guys doing today? You guys sound as cool as me, or are you fucking losers? I'm mashing up. I was mashing roll there. What the heck? What the heck was that? I was mashing roll. Part of me wants to avoid those guys, but part of me wants to enact my revenge upon their evil ways. Raindrops keep falling on my head. That doesn't mean my eyes will soon be turning red. Something, something, something. Na 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 na. Complaining because I'm free. Nothing's worrying me. You're nothing but a pile of crap. You gotta die, you fucking prick. I'll kill you now. Don't know how to rhyme. Is that such a crime? I don't know. I just need to think of more words. 
how do you guys like my new totally original song I'm singing there? It's totally original. It's just, I thought of it. What the fuck? How do I keep changing over to my shield accidentally? The fuck is that crap? You guys are fucking crap lords. so dumb I bet he doesn't even have a cool and totally natural voice like me <laughs> the thing is I know if I talk this way all the time I'll get more YouTube views because people are really shallow and they like being catered to in a shallow manner they like pretending the reality is more perfect than what it really is even if deep down they know it's a bunch of bullshit that they're basing their lives on. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Should I just talk like this all the time? Like a super cool guy. Hey, uh, my name is King K. Welcome to my Ocarina of Time video. I think I'd get way more pussy if I talk like this all the time. Oh, that yell that they do isn't just to push me away, it also boosts their attack. I guess that's Warcry. Oh, Mesmer Soldier Shield. Swift Spear. It's kind of addictive talking in the deep voice. The largest of all metal shields in their class. Worn round shield carried by soldiers loyal to Mesmer the Impaler. I should start talking like this all the time, even in my real life, even to people who have known me for years. <laughs> Sounds kind of funny. A fire spark perfume bottle. This is a weapon? Hold on. Let's check out the spear. I do like spears. Swift spear. Oh, of course, it's a dexterity weapon that makes sense. A metal-bodied spear. Oh, wait. Just physical damage. A metal-bodied... No strength scaling, only dex. A metal-bodied spear of extremely lightweight make, being the result of a sophisticated molding technique. Mesmer, with his obsession with fire and metal, must be an excellent smith, just like Azazel from the Book of Enoch. Capable of swift, consecutive attacks. Well, fuck that spear. Vulgar Militia Chotel. I didn't realize that I had acquired a halberd. It's also a dexterity weapon. A hooked blade attached to a long handle. 
Is this available in the main game? It might be. Wielded by the vulgar militia, its attacks can slip through an enemy's guard. The vulgar militia are the undecorated stewards of rancid, scorched battlefields that none dare approach, and forbidden domains better forgotten by the rest of the world. It makes sense for them to be here, and it also makes sense that they were in Kaelid, but why did you run into them? In Lyernia of the Lakes. A mystery that we may never solve. Fuck! Let's read about the repeating crossbow. A mechanized crossbow that has been fitted with a fan-shaped contraption. This metallic piece adds a reloading system used in the execution of a unique battle art. I think that may have been available in the main game as well. Wow. That's kind of neat. Unlimited perfume. I don't think this was available in the main game, was it? Wow. It's pretty amazing, to be honest with you. But it's also a dexterity weapon, my god. Why is there a strength requirement of three? Is it even possible to have less than three strength? If that was a strength weapon, I would highly consider using it. This is the end of episode 14 of my blind let's play of Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree. Thank you for listening to my extremely smooth and natural voice. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you believe that my voice is extremely natural and smooth. Have a good day.